Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn how to subtract a four digit number and a three digit number and we're going to do this using the horizontal format. Now as we've mentioned before there is more than one way to do this. We're going to look at two different methods. Let's begin with our first example. <clears throat> what is 7,346 minus 129. <coughs> so 7,346 minus 129. Now I'm going to start on the left hand side, the thousands. We've got 7,000 minus, well, there are zero thousands here, so therefore that remains 7,000. Now let's move on to the hundreds. Now in this, ex in this example we have 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 is 2, so that is 200. Okay, let's keep going. We've now got the tens. Now for the tens we have 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2 is 2. There are two tens. And lastly we have the units. We've got 6 units over here and 9 over here. So this is now 6 minus 9. Well, you know this from your negative numbers, that 6 minus 9 is minus 3. Okay, it's minus 3. Now, before we add this to the right-hand side, I'm just going to add all of these together, because these are all addition. And we're simply adding the column, 7,220. And now we can add the minus 3. Okay, so minus 3. Now I just want you to concentrate on the 20, okay? 20 minus 3. The answer becomes 7,200 and 20 minus 3 is 17. And that is our answer. 7,346 minus 129 is 7,217. Now this looks like a quite a long process, but I have shown all the workings out you will require. If you decide to use this method, after a period of time, you won't need to do any of the workings, you'll be doing all of those in your head. And you'll be able to get much quicker and far more accurate when answering the questions. Now let's have a look at our second method. This time we've got 9,450 3 minus 267. So how would we do this? Well, the second method, what we're going to do is, we're going to look at the number we're subtracting, the 267, and we're going to add digits to it until we reach 9,453. So let me show you what I mean by this. Let's have a look at the units. We've got 7, but we have to get that to equal 3, or more, reali more realistically, 13. So what number added to th 7 is going to give us 3? That's quite simple. It's going to be 6. 7 plus 6 is 13, and because it's 13, we add 1 to the next column. For the tens, <coughs> for the tens, it is no longer 6 because we've carried 1 over. So we can cross this out, it has actually become 7. So we've got 7 tens, but we have to get the tens to equal 5. Or more realistically, 15. 
So what number added to 7 is going to give us 15? Well, that's quite simple. It is 8. 7 plus 8 is 15, and we carry 1 across to the next column. So now we're doing the hundreds. We don't have two hundreds because we carried the one over. Two has become three. We have to get to four. So what number added to three will give us four? The answer is one. And lastly, we've got the thousands. Now we've got zero thousands here, and we have to get to nine. So simply we add nine. Now that is our answer. Nine thousand... 186. 9,186. Now, as you're doing this, if you're unsure about this, what you can do is add the two sets of numbers and see if they equal the number you began with. So let's do this. We've got 9,186 plus 267. Okay, let's do this uh, relatively quickly, because we know how to do this. Okay, 6 plus 7. 6 plus 7 is 13. So put 1 here and 3 here. Next, the tens column, we've got 8 plus 6 is 14. But don't forget the 1 here. 14 plus 1 is 15. Now we're going to do the hundreds column. We've got 1 plus 2 is 3, and plus 1 is 4. And lastly, we've got the thousands column. So therefore, this number, 9,453, is the same as this number over here. Therefore, this answer, 9,186, is correct. So that is how we do subtraction, the two methods of how we do subtraction of a four-digit number and a three-digit number using the horizontal format.